Hey, 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 hey uh, what? We're trying to record. Oh, I didn't know we were doing it for real. Yes. <clears throat> uh, you get out of here. Right. Yeah. Hey, some weird guy just walked into the studio trying to screw us up. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, we be never bad. fuck up. No, not at all. No. Anyway, if you like our content, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on the videos below. Also, check us out on Facebook and Twitter and anywhere else that podcasts are available. Yeah. Hey, there's some dog turd over there. Hey, man, you gonna eat that? No, that's a dog turd. Man, I love me some dog turd, man. And this shit's delicious. Wait a minute. Why the hell do I like me some dog turd, man? You're a fly? You trying to get some fly honeys? Because cause you a fly. Oh, man. Man, motherfucker changed me again, didn't he? Didn't he? That motherfucker. Satan is a motherfucker. Altoid up there, too. Up your clam hole? Yeah, yeah, yeah a clown. Not your clam hole. <laughs> 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 Entirely different orifice. We're talking. Uh, damn about. holes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All these holes. They all look. They all start looking alike you know, after a while. You know what pisses me off, man? You, you know, they had that uh, that holes. That was a based on a book. It was a Disney movie. But if you porn type, parody. I was about to say, if you type the same thing in a porn parody, you get a lot different results. <laughs> dude. Uh, it's, it's very misleading. <laughs> well, Disney's so. all about their porn parodies. Oh God, yeah, yeah. I can't imagine like what they have to deal with. They probably have a separate department just for that. that well, just, yeah, for the they lawsuits. They scour the internet looking for pornographic parodies of. Yeah, of so they can stuff. submit lawsuits. I mean, you've got the dildo. Oh, they, they get, <laughs> the dildo. Yeah, the baby, <laughs> the baby, the baby Yoda dildo. Oh, God. and they tried suing this company over that shit. Uh, like they're gonna fucking win. Hey, I'm gonna sue you because you made a green you, dick. You know what? No, you know there's one out there. Marvel's shaped, not doing that, saying that there's it's you know, the Hulk's wiener. <laughs> <laughs> you just know that there's something called the Captain America out there that doesn't have anything to do. <laughs> no, with that's the, the American Challenger. Oh my, no, that is a table leg. Is what that is. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, you could, you could like, man, like that would throw off like weight balance in a car when you bought it. <laughs> well, yeah, if you need to rebalance the size, you can say you got a big friend that yeah. you know, weighs out one side. <laughs> oh, hold on, let me get this thing out of the trunk. Excuse me while I whip oh, this I, out. I got it. Oh, there we go. God, I know. Okay, it's in the truck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's got bad news written all over that. That thing has to come with a liability waiver when you buy it. No, it comes with a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I bought this uh, gigantic dildo, and I can't understand why they're asking me for medical information. Now they're gonna sue you. Ah, oh, damn it! Yeah, and just just forewarning, if they do, I'm a, totally abandoning you on that. I they don't going, know who I am. I ain't they going don't care. Toe to toe, to toe with those guys. Well, I'm just gonna you know review them on Yelp. No, I guess you could, you could until they force you into slavery and you end up part of the small world ride. Uh, <laughs> that's where all the missing children of Disney go. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the, the... it's the small world after Did you all. did you go on that when y'all went? Fuck no, no, no. Why not? She mom wanted to, and I said not doing it. My kids are not allowed to do it because I don't want them to become robotic slaves. <laughs> And she looked at me like I was crazy, and I kind of felt a little crazy, you, but it's fine. You want me to bring home two androids instead of my actual children? Because that's what happens when you go on this ride. You don't go on this ride to uh, to enjoy it. You go on the ride to get rid of your children. It's a kid exchange, yeah. Yeah, you, <laughs> get rid of, you get rid of your children here. All right, sign here, here, and here. All right, thank you. Yeah, that's why, that's why people around the world... Come to Disney to get rid of their kids so they can is be... Is that what it is? Yeah, they, they donate them to Disney's theme park Ugh. and attractions. All right. That's fair news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. Enslavement of the children. Now, I'm telling you, dude, it's... it's... <laughs> You're yeah. going to work for it, kid. <laughs> <laughs> you better not fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this show has taken one hell of a start talking about dildos and Disney. Yeah. Well, they at least they Jesus. rhyme. Disney dildos. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You know somebody's making a theme of those somewhere. I wouldn't it, doubt it. That exists. It has to exist. This isn't even how the show was supposed to go today. I mean, this wasn't even close to what we were going to be no, discussing no, today. We, we, we're going to be talking about something else, but as always, we... 
segue into some other bullshit. This is what happens when we drink beer and try to do a show is we fucking derail to our fucking space and, you know, go find Gwar out there. Why are you kiddies? Come with us now on a journey through time and space. The world of the mighty boosh. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that show. <clears throat> Man, you want to talk about a show with some just absolutely amazing, like, I guess you'd consider them villains, but but you had old Greg, you had the crack Yeah, the crack clucks. Yeah, yeah the foxy man. <laughs> oh, the foxy man. Hello. <laughs> I think I could tell his little story. I once was a little fox, and he was called Jerome. <laughs> he lived in the wood, in Elderberry Wood. <laughs> Dude, don't even fuck with me because I know this whole thing. I've seen that <laughs> episode so many times. Look so, at him shine. Yeah, look, look at, at him shine. Oh, Mr. Susan. Mr. Susan. Mr. Susan. Look at him shine. Look at him. It's cold. Oh, cold. <laughs> look at him shine. <laughs> oh, it's such I'm a old great Greg. show. Oh, yeah. Old Do you ever drink Bailey's from a shoe? Do you want to go to a club where people weigh on each other? <laughs> Do you love me? <laughs> I'll make you love me. I don't know, sir. <laughs> Make an assessment. <laughs> and then, then, what was the other Mo guy? Greg! What was the other guy? The Hitcher. You know, the Hitcher. The Peppermint Nightmare. Oh, yeah, the Peppermint... No, yeah. it was, no, his name was the Hitcher. I thought it was just Peppermint Nightmare. No, no, he asked the guy, he said, do I look like a reasonable man to you or Peppermint Nightmare? Well, Peppermint Nightmare. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he asked him if he looked like one. Oh, okay. I mean, obviously, if you paint yourself green and put on a mint monocle and go out in public, yeah, people are going to avoid you like you are. Well, if you right. want to confuse a blonde, paint yourself green and throw confuse. a fork set. Confuse? Confuse? Confuse. Confuse this If you thing. want to confuse a blonde. <laughs> confuse a blonde. <laughs> paint yourself green and throw forks at her. You know, that seems to work on everybody. <laughs> it would sure as hell confuse the shit out of me. I wouldn't. I'd be like, do shake, yeah, salesman. I'd be damned impressed, but that depends on how hard he throws the forks, because that could suck. Or are they plastic forks or are they metal forks? What's a plastic fork? So you ain't got shit to worry about. You can't. Those things are too light. You can't throw those. Now, nah, you ever force. put one of those in a slingshot? No. You yeah. said throw, not slingshot launch. That's a, you're What's crossing, the difference? You're crossing into a whole other area entirely. Ah, uh, tomato shoestring. <laughs> I mean, it's the same shit. It makes about the same amount of sense. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, paint yourself green and throw forks at it. Man, that, that that could count as modern performance art, though. That's the thing. Like, you could do that in public and actually convince somebody that it meant something. Oh, like the banana on the wall with duct tape. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, because obviously that's a thing because reasons. Here, here's a challenge for our listeners out there. Since the banana... <laughs> create, <laughs> create modern art. Yeah. In a horrible way. So you've got the banana tape, duct tape to a, a fucking wall, right? Mm-hmm. So... We challenge you, our listeners, to take a solid turd, your own turd, by the way, not your friends or your dogs, yeah. duct tape it to a wall and call it art. Take well, a picture well, of it and try to submit well, it for let payment. Let me stop you right there because I'm going to tell you, you're not going to need the tape because one of the strangest things I ever saw on the wall in a bathroom it was uh, in elementary school. I don't remember what grade it was in, but I went into one of the stalls and on the wall was a, you know, smear of poo. Like somebody <laughs> had taken a turd. And it looked like they had hammer fisted it against the wall. <laughs> now, now, that's not even the weirdest part. Here, here's what gets strange: sticking right prominently in the in that poo was a nickel. <laughs> that Some, nickel for your poo. Somebody had come by. I don't know. It may have been the same person. Who knows? But, but for whatever reason, somebody stuck a piece of shit on the wall. And either they followed that up by sticking a nickel in said piece of shit, <laughs> or somebody came behind them and felt compelled to add to it like that. Damn. I mean, that means some elementary school kid was a modern no, art masterpiece. Yeah, yeah, no joke. I mean, that could that kid could be a millionaire by now if he'd have really known how to market anything. But if we had camera phones back then, too. I mean, granted, I wouldn't bitch about shitting nickels anyway. You know, I'd not have a lot of money by now. Yeah, but, but you also have nickel poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> and a raw asshole. For sure. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you have to sit on an ice pack every day. That sounds awful. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people, you know, that'd be the thing about shooting gold bricks, you know. It'd be nice, you'd be rich, but holy God, would that hurt. We want your pictures of what you consider modern art. The more ridiculous, the better. And whoever wins, do well... You know, do you know how many dick pics you just solicited? No dick pics. What is, <laughs> no dick pics. What is wrong with you? No dick this pics. This is the internet, asshole. <laughs> Learn how things work here. No, no nudity. You send us nude photos, you will regret it. I promise. We're not going to go after you with a lawsuit or, well, he sent me this and I didn't want it. No, we'll Photoshop it and send it back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it into a rocket. That's, we'll... not, that's not encouragement, by the way. Please, <laughs> please don't do that. We will embarrass you. No nudity. 
All nude photos will be sell them to the stripper. Why the fuck would they buy? Me? What depends on the night, I guess. I guess so. But depends still. on payday. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many quarters they get thrown at them in a day, dude? They get pissed about that. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, you want to make a stripper angry, throw change up there. I'm saying, man, I'm, I'm suggesting you, uh, it don't go over well. Did you, uh, happen to do this on after a few beers one night? <laughs> oh, of course. Beer is yeah, involved. It's a few, a few, more than a few. You know what though? I'm going to go back one of these days with a bunch of Sacagawea dollars and see how they like that. They won't. It'll hurt. No, no, they won't. Well, you, obviously you start hitting them with it. Well, from what I've heard, they don't take credit card either. They try to swipe between their cheeks. They don't no, like no, that. No, no. I, I try. Yeah, that doesn't work either. Do don't you make? Go, don't go over well. Do you do cash back? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hand, hand them a twenty and ask for change. That's another thing. That pisses them off. <laughs> I don't know. I've never been to strip club. I just wanted to give you ten. Uh, can I get that back in ones? <laughs> I'm 31 years old and I've never been to a strip club. You, you know they exist, though, right? Yeah, yeah, I know I they exist. exist. I'm just, I'm just I've saying. had plenty of friends there's ask a, me, a whole, hey, you want to go to the strip club? Like, no, a, you go and pay money for dick tees. I'm going to go get it for free. Uh, I, I'm the guy that's too smart okay, for that shit. Okay. Sounds like a good night. <laughs> <laughs> Titty glitter galore. <laughs> Titty glitter galore. Dude, all that, you remember when we got that titty glitter from uh, from that place and uh, we, we put it all in uh, our buddy's car? Oh God! We dumped, yes, we dumped a whole thing of it into his vents, and uh, you remember <laughs> it was, we got we got fart spray from the same place. Okay, okay. Before we get into that, this is a story about a friend of ours, and from now from now on, this friend is now referred to as who? Pikachu. Pikachu. This is Pikachu. We're going to refer to this friend as Pikachu from the for the remainder of this story. So. <laughs> Much to drink. <laughs> the funny thing is, Pikachu. our friend, when he listens to Pikachu's this, gonna he's going to know. know who it is. <laughs> so, so, so on, on about our friend Pikachu. <laughs> so there's this uh, adult shop called Cherries in our hometown. We had a buddy. We had Pikachu come <laughs> dropping names like that. You want to tell them the hours and street address too? You creep. <clears throat> well, they can find that store's name. Who cares? It's public knowledge. I know. Pikachu came over to the house, and we we're all hanging out, having a good time. And me and Stumpy here were like, "Man, how how can we get him today?" <laughs> Our first idea was to take all his tires off of his vehicle. Yeah, yeah, but he had those stupid security lugs. Yeah, we couldn't get it off. We were going to hide his tires and leave a note Yeah, we were going to make a scavenger hunt (laughs) for him to find his tires to get back home. (laughs) So I offered offered him a beer. I said, hey, since you're drinking a beer, just let me have your keys, you know, all, all that mess, just... For responsibility. Yeah, you know what? That wouldn't be the first time somebody gave somebody a beer just so they could take advantage of them either. So, <laughs> so congratulations. You've joined a league of, uh, you know, creepy people. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> he should have known. He's hung out with us for years. He knows oh, that we yeah, are always that, planning that, that something. That is fair. He should have known. He should have known. So this is his fault. He gives me his key. He said... Oh, yeah, man, I completely understand. No big deal. <laughs> At that time, few, we let, we waited like five or ten minutes. Me and Stumpy are like, hey, we're going to run to the store. Uh, we'll be right back real quick, so just hang out. We'll be right back. We'll grab some more beer. Okay, yeah, man, uh, no problem. I'll be here. Yep. <laughs> we go outside. We got to work. We tried getting his tires off. It wouldn't work. Well, yeah. that, that That's how it started first. We right, tried to get right, his tires right, off right. first. We're like... Okay, this isn't going to work. What do we need to do? So we take off to get some beer, and we stop by this adult store. Right. <laughs> we found, what was it, titty glitter with pheromones. Titty glitter with fucking pheromones, man. An I exa- can't believe it an, said that. An exhaust whistle. <laughs> an exhaust whistle. And a can of fart spray. And this this isn't just any fart spray. This is like... It wasn't li- it wasn't liquid ass, but it was it pretty bad. It was it was the closest you could get to liquid ass without it being 
liquid Dude, ass. That was some wretched shit. If I ever farted like that, I'd go see a doctor. I'd go to the hospital. <laughs> after changing something is, after changing my pants. Because yeah. something down there is broken. Yeah, yeah. Something ain't, <laughs> if you got a fart that smells anything remotely close to what came out of that thing. <laughs> Yeah, something something is dysfunctional for sure. Okay, so we we get back, we get the beer, we got the stripper titty glitter, and we got the fart spray and exhaust whistle, and we have his keys, and we have his keys. So, so yeah, we we just get to work after this. We thing. Ta- we dump the whole thing of titty glitter into the <laughs> vents. We dumped it all along the top of the windshield where the defroster is. We just and then what? We dumped the whole thing of fart spray in his trunk. Yeah, we opened yeah. up his trunk and sprayed the entire was can of fart spray. Was this summertime? Like, he was in on summer break, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, I think it yeah, was. Yeah, it was summertime. So it was but, pretty warm outside It was going to bake. Yeah. Like, the, the point of the story is that this 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 sulfurous, like, shit stink <laughs> is just going to bake in a 120-degree trunk. <laughs> we get the fart spray put in his trunk. We finish the titty glitter, and then we get the exhaust whistle. We bend it out how you're supposed to and sl- <laughs> shove it in his tailpipe. But we put it up. Far- we- I got a stick. Oh, dude. And I pushed that, that bitch was- up <laughs> in there so he couldn't see it. Way up in there. And we come- We go back up to the house. We have a few beers. We hang out. So he hangs out for a few hours. We're playing games, whatever. <clears throat> nice. <laughs> Loser! Yeah, right. <laughs> this is beer number two for you, right? <laughs> yeah. I can count this time. <laughs> My tolerance is going up. Oh, good. You can count. And you can count on wait, on me waiting on you in the parking lot. Oh, no. run, oh run, shooter. <laughs> anyway, it's about time for him to leave. We walk him downstairs. We're shooting the shit. We have to walk him downstairs because we want to see what happens. Oh, yeah. yeah. There was no way we were missing that reaction. <laughs> he, he gets in the car, <clears throat> cranks it up, and there goes the exhaust with a... <laughs> <laughs> See, that was the funniest thing, is that's what worried him the most. Was the exhaust whistle. Yeah, he started his car, immediately stopped it, and got out and was looking at everything. And we're, thinking we're in the middle for of the sure, road. Yeah, thinking for sure his stuff was going to break down. He had no idea why his car was making this noise. <laughs> we're in the middle of the road, like, rolling on the ground oh, laughing. Dude, we're, and he, he comes out, he starts chuckling because we're laughing so hard. <laughs> What y'all do? What y'all do? <laughs> just that nervous. Yeah, laugh. it was complete nervous. nervous laughter. Like, like this is gonna get worse, right? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, he smells it. He goes, "Oh my God, what's that smell? What you put in my trunk?" <laughs> he opens up the trunk. There's nothing there. He's like, "Oh God!" Dude, oh. It, it smelled like a dead animal in there already. Because <laughs> and that was the thing. The, the worst thing about it is we didn't just like go spritzing it around, and then we held it really close to the carpet. So it soaked tr- in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was just soaking in and evaporating into his trunk. <laughs> oh, yes. That, that, oh, get that oh, in. That's some good smelling shit oh, right there. Yeah, get that in you. Here, put that on you. Yeah, dude, that, that was bad. <laughs> But got you, 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 lesson learned: don't give anybody your keys, especially <laughs> us. <assholes. laughs> especially us. After he he call, after he's laughing a little bit, we say, "Oh, it's exhaust wiffle, ha 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 ha." Wiffle, yeah. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Anytime we do a show, I can't fucking talk. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, this? Yeah. It's a thing. Exhaust wiffle. Exhaust <laughs> wiffle. <laughs> wiffle. He decides to, he's, he's laughing with me. He's like, oh, okay, my car's fine. It's just you being an asshole. We're like, oh, yeah, go rev it up and go down the street. Come on, just so we can laugh. And he does it. He, he gets in his car and he goes, starts going down the street. And then, of course, he revs it up. And if you've never done a whistle. Dude, they sound a, so hilarious. I, I cannot replicate the sound no. because it is they, unbelievably funny. It is hilarious. It man. is the funniest sound you'll that ever hear on someone's vehicle. That is one of on the greatest vehicle. prank devices ever made was that. <laughs> it's like, just a piece of aluminum. Dude, I, I te- yeah. Yeah, I know. It is so simple, but but man, the, the effect is so good. The entertainment off of it. Yeah. It goes yeah. down the road a ways, and apparently he decided to turn his AC off. So AC on because we turned it off. Yeah. Yeah, boy, he got showered <laughs> with pheromone enhanced stripper titty glitter. <laughs> he Straight calls up. us a few minutes down the road. We still see his tail lights and they slam on the brake. <laughs> and he calls us, Man, what, what just happened? Fuck? What was that? <laughs> oh, oh, you, did you turn on your AC? Yeah. What was that everywhere? Oh, that's stripper titty glitter with pheromones. 
dude, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, yeah, you're about to make a lot of new friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well, it's time to put these shoes on. Fuck you, asshole. I got one leg. I mean, you know, to, to the rest of you, thanks for listening. Uh, we'll catch you all next time.